Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how can we use our locally stored file to get response from GPT. So we will be taking our local files, passing them to OpenAI's GPT-3 and ask questions specifically about those text files. So let me quickly show you those three, uh, five text files which I'm using today. So I have kept all those text files in a folder named store and these are related to cause and effect of homelessness. So this is one file and this is another text file. So overall I have created four different text files for this purpose. And this is nothing but, a, uh, but an essay which I have picked from the internet that also I can quickly show you. So it is sized from essaypro.com and here I found free essay so I just picked this up and started uh, this particular video. So let's go on to VS Code and import the required packages. So the very first package we need is for Langchain. So I would say langchain.embeddings.openai and here we will be using OpenAI embedding. So this will help us to search our text very efficiently. Next we will take uh, Chroma to store our vectors. So from stores, we will just say import Chroma. Okay, then we need a splitter which will split our documents into small chunks. So let's say langchain dot text splitter and here we will simply say character text splitter. Next we need is a vector database question answer. So that is again from the langchain. So langchain import open AI will take it here itself and then we'll say vector dbqa which is this one okay we have taken these four next thing we need is the directly loader because we have kept all our text file in a single directory in single directory so let's go ahead and write some import statement for that also from langchain dot document loaders and here we will say directory loader okay and then just few of our packages like import os import nltk and import magic so we are done with our import part let me quickly run this cell okay so, oops so here i need to say os okay next thing we will go ahead and set our open ai key so that you can do it using and warren and inside that you can pass open ai api key and here you can set your key after grabbing it from the portal so i will quickly show you how to grab that also so go to openai.com click on login and once you logged in you will see that when you will click on your name you will see view api keys so click on this particular option and just grab these keys. So if you have not saved this key somewhere, then you may have to go ahead and click on this create new secret key, which will generate a new secret key for you. And you can go ahead and use that. So that key you have to paste it over here. Next thing is I'm not going to run this cell because I have already stored this in my environment variable. Next thing I'm going to add another code cell and then we will start writing uh, our part wherein we will start loading, uh, instantiating our loader. So for that we will say loader and we'll use directly directory loader which will take parameter as your path where your files are stored. So these are the, this is the path of my text file and then I need to, if there are multiple text file or multiple types of files in your, uh, that folder, then you can just specify that we are interested in grabbing only the text file and that you can do it using globe. So here you can say star star and like where it has saved, you can give this path accordingly. So I'm interested only in txt files. So let's do that. 
once the loader is instantiated we need to load it so we can say loader dot load okay let me go ahead and run this as well okay so and here remember that i have removed the slash because everything is in my same directory so i need not to put but if you have different directory then you need to set this path uh, accordingly okay so once this loader part is done next thing is uh, we need to uh, break our text so whatever text we have taken it's kind of very large and now we need to break it into chunks so that we will have every chunk will have some meaningful data so for that let's go ahead and instantiate our character splitter so i will create a variable text underscore splitter which will use character splitter and herein we need to define the chunk size so let's give it uh, 2000 characters and then we will say chunk overlap so this you can decide and set but here i'm just taking it at zero because i'm not interested in that kind of scenario here so i don't want any overlap okay now we will split the text so for that let's create uh, let me run it and i will create another code cell wherein we will say doc text because now we need to grab the text based on the splitter so then so we'll say split documents and inside that we will pass the document docs which we have loaded in this particular step so just pass in docs here and execute this cell okay this is also successful now we can see that uh, if you want to see how your text looks like we can quickly go ahead and say docs texts and it will show entire text for us and you can see that it is segregated by document so this is one document uh, this is another document this is another document so all those five documents are displayed over here so let me quickly delete this cell we don't need this okay next thing we need is uh, by embedding so we need to create embedding on it which means that we need to turn our data into a vector space which is nothing but you can take it as a list of data how can we construct a list out of it so for that we need to again instantiate our open ai embedding uh, open ai embedder so you can create a variable open ai embeddings and let's call openai embeddings here then it will take some parameters like openai key so we will ask it to just read it from we will ask it to just read it from our environment variable and we'll provide its name here openai api key so this is our variable name and then we need to run the cell also okay so this is successful i will create uh, i'm creating small small cells so that it is easy for you to read and understand what we are doing in every single cell so next we will use chroma to make a vector store for these uh, doc text which we have created above using our embeddings so let's go ahead and create a variable name we store chroma dot from documents and inside that we will pass doc texts which we have generated here after so this is the one which we got after splitting and then we need to pass the embedding so i will say embedding so using these two we will now be creating a vector space vector store let's run this cell also 
okay it's done next thing we will uh, create another cell and finally we are going to initialize our model after doing all these uh, homework so let's create a variable model and here we will be using vector dbqa from chain type from chain type and inside this we need to define what is our large model or what kind of chain we want or what is our vector space altogether so here we will say we want to use open ai as our large model language large language model and then we will say chain type would be we just want to mention there are various chain types which you can definitely go ahead and explore in the documentation and then we need to define vector store so this would be the one which we just created in about step we store okay so let's run this and see if anything is wrong here so it is saying so here as should be small then we should run and see okay it's successful now it's time to ask the question so let's create another cell and here we will draft our question so let's say we want to know what are the effects of homelessness so this is what we want to know and then we will ask model to execute this particular query for us and it will take the question which we have just framed and run it so whatever the response we will get it will be from those five documents which we have used so this is exactly the thing which which has already written in that document so the effects of homelessness were and are felt differently among the homeless communities and business communities so this is all we have in the document let me try one more question what are the let's say causes and we should exp causes of homelessness include personal choice poverty and all these things so this is the response which you are getting out of those five documents now one thing you can do here is how will you validate that this is exactly from those documents we need a way right so for that let me add one more cell <coughs> and show you so here we need to change our model as well as uh, our uh, query construction part little bit so here we will say i will grab this first and we need to tweak it a bit so after this we need to say return source documents equal to true okay and then we will say let me run it okay it's successful so we are saying to this model that uh, return me the source document from where you have grabbed this information so i will grab this line again here this is our question and then we will say response which we will be getting out of Our documents so this and here you just define the question okay let's go ahead and uh, print this response so here I will say source documents and if you will run this it will tell you from what uh, which all documents it grabbed the response from this particular question so we are saying what is the cause of this homelessness so these are the documents which we uh, it has referred and if you will read this see domestic violence so in the answer you can see about it is talking about domestic violence and it is not a permanent or home research so if you will read you will get to know that it is from this document itself and here you can see poverty is the biggest factor and in the response also it has 
mentioned about poverty. So basically this response is completely from those documents which we have served. So you can use this particular feature to analyze or to read your notes. So let's say you have made some notes and now you want to get response out of those notes or let's say you have a bunch of text from your emails or any kind of documents then definitely this utility could be useful. So I hope you enjoyed working with me on this demo and make sure to like this if you really find it useful and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.